Hello everyone, I have an announcement. As the title says, I'm going to be starting on a new From the Inside Out series. This time it is all going to be about the 1880s. 1886 to 1889 to be exact. Now, some of you may be thinking, Rika, this is exciting and all, but what about the worth gown? Never fear, I am still working on the worth gown. More at a marathon pace versus a sprint, but I am still working on it and I will finish it eventually. So with that comment aside, let's talk about this new series. Like with all my past series, I'm going to be starting with the undergarments and working my way out to the accessories. While starting with the base layer would be the most sensible, I've actually decided to start on the corset first because then it'll be easier to decide on the height of the combinations when I make them. Now the reason for picking the 1880s for my next series is because I'm actually going to be taking part in a murder mystery game at the end of October. And wouldn't you know it, I don't have anything to wear. So what else is a girl to do but put a e-break on all the other projects that I've currently been working on and just build a brand new wardrobe from scratch in a couple months. I'm not stressed at all. Okay, all joking aside though, this is going to be a very large project and there isn't a lot of time to get it done. But as you can probably guess, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. <laughs> okay, when figuring out the design for this project, I gave myself a couple requirements. Number one, it has to be practical. So no trains. As much as I love trains, I really need this gown to be more on the practical side as I am going to be solving an outdoor mystery in it. Number two, it needs to be warm ish. October weather in British Columbia can be unpredictable. It could be warm or it could be cold and rainy. Heck, sometimes we can get snow. Not all that often in Vancouver, but it's a possibility. Either way, I want to be comfortable in this ensemble, and so I'm aiming for warmish and just hoping for the best. Number three, I have to use as much stash fabric as I can. Technically, I have kind of already bent this rule as I bought the fabric for my main dress, but that's only because I don't have 14 meters of the same fabric just chilling in my stash. But the rest of the fabric for this project is going to be coming from my collection of fabric that has been steadily growing over the past 10 years. Yay for stash busting! So with these requirements in mind, I have begun poring over my costuming books and I've jumped feet first into the 1880s rabbit hole on Pinterest. Now I have come across some wonderful Sherlockian style bustles, but since this is going to be used for other adventures in the future and not just mystery hunting, I've decided that I'm going to pull back a bit and more pull my examples from walking dresses. Now I have found several designs that I really love that I'm going to more pull inspiration from versus creating a direct reproduction of one of these fashion plates. So breaking down the project into videos I'm going to release, I have the combinations, the corset, the bustle, the petticoats, the skirt and skirt drape, which might be split into two videos depending on how elaborate it is, the bodice, the hat, and if there's enough time, a dolman and muff. The dolman and muff may end up being more winter projects, but who knows, we'll see. Overall, I think I have everything that I need for this project to come together, except for maybe more time. So that is pretty much my plans for the next couple months. I do have a couple other projects that aren't related to this that are gonna be coming up, um, but pretty much you can expect a lot of 1880s on this channel until about November. If you are new to my channel and you want to see the outcome of this series, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. I post at least one video a month, but it's probably gonna be more like two with this series. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to share what I'm gonna be making. Also, before I go, I would love to know in the comments if you have any costume plans for the spooky season this year. I realize it's technically still August, but you know what? It is fun to start planning early. So let me know down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time with the first garment in this series. Bye! Not gonna lie though, I seriously think a mom invented iced coffee because if our drinks are gonna be cold, at least it's intentional. Let me know what you think down below. <laughs>